Can you trust your VPN? Or could it be that they are spying on you, just like your internet service provider? Many VPNs, especially the most popular ones, are collecting your personal information and selling it to advertisers, but also sharing it with governments. A good way to find out if your VPN provider is trustworthy is by using the website called Exodus Privacy. Here you can search for any app you want and find out detailed information about it. For example, the latest version of Google Play services, which is installed on all Android devices, has 5 trackers and 286 permissions. We can also see which exact trackers the app uses. By scrolling down further, you will see the complete list of all app permissions. One of the most used VPNs is NordVPN. Their mobile app has 18 permissions and 3 trackers. Now the problem here are the trackers. A true privacy service should never use any type of trackers. You know, it's insanely stupid when people complain about TikTok, but at the same time use Google Android, Google Chrome, Google Search and Gmail, because not even TikTok has as many permissions and trackers as Google does. The only way to have true privacy on an Android phone is by installing another operating system that does not have Google in it. One alternative is Lineage OS, but that's a topic for another video. Another popular VPN is ExpressVPN. The mobile app has 16 permissions and 2 trackers. Again, any VPN that uses Google trackers cannot be trusted, so you shouldn't use it for privacy. Surfshark VPN has 25 permissions and 3 trackers. And of course we have Google trackers again. Google is like a virus, seriously, just look at this report. Google Firebase Analytics found in 93,000 applications? I mean, what the f***? And that's only the tip of the iceberg, considering how many websites use Google Analytics. Now let's take a look at ProtonVPN. The app has 8 permissions and 0 trackers. This makes a seemingly legit impression, as the amount of permissions is extremely low and the app doesn't have any trackers at all. Of course there are other VPNs and you should make your own conclusion on which is best for you. There is another website called Page X-Ray Analytics. Copy-paste the URL from any website you want to scan, for example, nordvpn.com. After the scan is complete, we can now see all connections nordvpn.com makes. This can also help you to decide if the VPN you want to use is trustworthy or not. NordVPN clearly has a lot of connections to Google, so this looks pretty bad. ExpressVPN.com takes the shady connections to the next level, since they aren't just connected to Google, but also Facebook. Surfshark.com isn't any better. The website is also connected to Google and Facebook. ProtonVPN.com is only connected to a single website, clearly standing out compared to the other VPNs. Another thing to watch out for is that your VPN provider should not be located in any of the 14 ICE surveillance countries. If you have never heard about the 14 ICE, I'll leave a link in the video description. You can also use the Portmaster program to control all connections of your computer, including your VPN. The green number on the left shows how many connections ProtonVPN makes. On the right side, you can see all IP addresses ProtonVPN uses. If you click on any connection, Portmaster will then show you even more details, like which country the connection comes from and the organization who owns the server. If your VPN has any connections to Google or Facebook, you should immediately delete it and never use it again. Portmaster is free and open source, so you can check your VPN's connections right now. I'll put a link in the video description. Proton VPN is also free, in case you want to check it out. Free services usually indicate that you are the product. However, that is not always the case. If I forgot anything or you want to add something, let me know in the comment section below.